Oh crap. <clears throat> What's up guys? What's everybody doing? Seems like my voice is getting a little uh, screwed up. Um, hopefully it's not coming coming down with a cold or anything, but uh, that's what it uh, feels like anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be starting a um, regiment of a Drafinel, as you can see there. Now, um, this is going to be just an, an experiment. Um, a Drafinel <clears throat> is not basically, it's not recommended for consumption. Um, you can take it, um, but there is consequences of taking too much. Um, and it's uh, really not uh, approved by the FDA yet, and it's just it's just a supplement, really. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's kind of dangerous if you uh, kind of be ir irresponsible with it and, and take a bunch of it. Um, because not not much is known about a Drafinil, really. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people haven't really taken it, and there hasn't been a lot of, uh, you know, research into a Drafinil um, and the benefits of it or the consequences of taking too much. Um but there are there are some you know consequences. You get bad headaches, uh, stomach pain, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it basically tells you right on the uh, on the order that I got. Um, it'll say you know not made for consumption or uh, made for consumption, but um, only for experimental purposes only. Uh, so I mean it's not poisonous. I mean you can take it. Um, it's just another uh, nootropic slash um, wakefulness promoting drug. Um, here I'll just uh, go ahead. Now when I got this, it was in the tight packaging um, by uh, NootropicsDepot.com and um, when I went to open it, uh, it was kind of hard to get open so I kind of was wrenching at the cap and I spilt powder everywhere. Um, not a lot of it, but uh, it just kind of went up everywhere. Um, and uh, here's here what it looks like. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. It's kind of a powdery consi consistent there consistency um, it's a very uh, kind of like airy type powder it's like airy you know um, like if I was to boil on this it would, it would go everywhere real easily uh, so I'm gonna be starting this um, pretty soon here it's basically uh, gonna be taking place uh, taking the place of caffeine um, I'm gonna try to cut back on my coffee and just take a drafinil and see how well a drafinil works instead of drinking caffeine um, there have been some some uh, side effects of drinking caffeine and taking a drafinil, um, especially a large amount of, of coffee or caffeine. Um, there has been like you know headaches and stuff like that, and uh, feeling like you know over anxious or uh, uh, having like the jitters. Um, however, with a drafinil, there has been no um, come down effects. You haven't had a crash really like you do with coffee, so that's one of the benefits of it. Um, that's one of the benefits of a drafinil. I went ahead and purchased the uh, 15 grams. Uh, I got this a, a couple, probably about a, two weeks after I uh, ordered it. Um, and uh, so yeah, the, the the part number here is 62400. Uh, the lot number is 2014 0625-22. The expiration is uh, 2016. So this will be around for a while. Okay, so here it is right here. It says right on the uh, the, the little uh, box here or bottle whatever you want to call it um, for research purposes only distributed by uh, Parm Parmatrix and Corp Phoenix Arizona shop now at nootropics.com so yeah overall um, I'm excited to start taking a draft I've, I've, I've watched a lot of reviews on <coughs> excuse me a lot of reviews on um, YouTube and stuff and uh, a lot of people said you know they don't consume a lot of this they don't take it on a, a monthly basis um, they basically try it for a few weeks, and if it helps, it helps. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but it, it was worth it because there's a lot of good reviews on it, and a lot of people have benefits, um, have gotten benefits from taking this. Uh, so I'm probably going to try it for like three weeks straight. I'm going to try to because um, with any type of nootropic or any type of supplement or, or uh, vitamin or whatever, it's hard to stay on them. It's hard to always keep taking them every day, especially when you're, when you're, uh, used to be on a ton crap ton of medications and was always like oh I can't wait to get off of it and <laughs> now that you uh, get to test out these stuff these these uh, supplements and stuff now it's kind of like you know <laughs> uh, well I, a few years ago I was complaining about having to take all this stuff and now I'm, I'm taking this stuff every day <coughs> excuse me so sometimes when I am on supplements and on uh, regimens and stuff like that 
um, I do get discouraged and just don't feel like taking it, but um, I try to stick to it, um, especially when I have benefits from these supplements. Um, I did get benefits from my B12. I'm out of B12, by the way, so I'm going to try to get more of that, but I've got benefits from B12. I've got benefits from my, um, uh, my uh, liver guard, um, which basically helps the liver, especially if you're taking a draft in, I recommend liver guard by Source Naturals. Go on Amazon or whatever, or just Google search uh, Source Naturals, Source Naturals Liver Guard. And um, if you want to try out, you know, uh, nootropics and stuff like that, I recommend taking that because it basically helps detoxify the liver and basically helps the liver out. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm going to be taking that along with the Drafenil. Um, but I've been taking the Liver Guard for a while now because I've been on nootropics and I have type 1 diabetes too. So I figured why not? If it's going to help my organs out, then, <laughs> you know, why not try it? Um, I also do take a bunch of other nootropics. Um, I take the coloracetam, which is, you know, the basic, really basic nootropic. Um, uh, it's, it gets produced in the body. Um, it's not like a uh, synthesized drug or whatever, like uh, like Prozac or whatever. It's, it's, it gets produced in the body. Um, along with a lot of other nootropics and amino acids and stuff, they get produced in the body. It's just people think when you have a supplement, they think, oh, well, this is like synthesized in a lab and stuff like that. It is in a way... But the body still produces the same thing. It's just, you know, in a powdered form or in a supplement form. Um, just like with vitamins. So, yeah, I'm going to be taking coloracetam. Not coloracetam. Uh, choline bitartrate. That's what I was thinking of. Co I haven't taken coloracetam yet. Choline bitartrate uh, or a choline CDP uh, along with adrafenil. Um, and I'm going to try to put it in one of my racetams. I have any racetam, primaracetam, um... Paracetam. I got a bunch of racetams. I don't know how many I have, but uh, I got that. I got L-theanine, L-tyrosine, and a bunch of other nootropics. Um, but I'm, I'm going to try to stick with just Adrafinil and uh, Choline Bitartrate, or Bitrate, however you want to say it. Um, I'm going to be just sticking with this, Adrafinil, and the Choline Bitrate, along with the uh, Liver Guard and my other, you know, daily prescriptions that I take. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to start taking this. I'm not going to start it today. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to start it, but uh, I'll definitely let you guys know and produce some videos uh, once I start taking this stuff. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited, guys. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. That's my little uh, little rant for today, talking about a Drafenil, talking about my new little nootropic purchase here. As you can see, here's the bottle, along with the um, along with the uh, the letters and numbers and stuff. 15 grams there as you can see so yeah can't wait to get it can't wait to get it in my body all right guys i'll talk to you later let me listen to some music <laughs>